Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The president has just said that, well, let's, let's just say, the wealthy have had too much for too long and it's about time they share it with everybody else. So what, it's called shared sacrifice, is that it? Or we're going to equalize between the haves and the have-nots? Yes, wealth distribution is referred to in a socialist world. Well, actually, I find it quite interesting because, you know, in the communist world, or actually you say old Russia, as it's become more capitalist, there is a growing um, difference between the haves and the have-nots. There always was. Ah, and it's parodied, uh, we just seen, saw some parody with Armani. Yes, Armani baby diapers. <laughs> anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. I think this is totally ridiculous. I think we should start with the president. So, who in the world is determining what's enough money? The President of the United States uh, is basically going to determine how much money that a person should earn. You know, well, you, you, know, you earn a lot. You should be willing to have, let other people join in. No, what it is is that people that aren't working for a living, he's going to give money to. That's it won't work because then when they figure out how many of the Democrats are multimillionaires, including the President of the United States. Well, of course, they exempt themselves from that because they're not supposed to benefit I, I know, <laughs> from any but, laws that are passed. Well, they also they, they also can't be hurt by any law that is passed. Yeah. So, like, and they, what? They're not using the health care system either. I know, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because the President of the United States, if he thinks, he said, if the Republicans think they're going to get away with not funding, that he, he, he's going to, the people will rise up against him. Well, no, the way it works is, okay, Kirby Daddy says, is Bill O'Reilly as stupid as a mud hen? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. You know, and Bill O'Reilly basically is an arrogant, big mouth mick. Uh, but Bill O'Reilly says, well, I don't understand how you can defund this. Why don't you just, you know, let the people, let it happen and destroy them, and then they'll vote for you. That isn't the way it works. What you do is, this is really smart. You defund Obamacare entirely, have Obama veto the legislation because he doesn't have his pet program funded. Who shuts the government down? Uh -huh. The brand that basically vetoes the money to fund the government. Uh -huh. And they can defend it, but I said there's both ways. Everybody hates the IRS, including Democrats. So if you simply shut the funding off to the IRS, you also defund Obamacare. Oh, an Obama speech on the middle class. Oh yeah, the Republicans, are, George Bush and the Republicans are responsible for all the problems. So I took over in the worst recession in 60 years. No, it wasn't. Um, the de it was caused specifically by the Democrats causing the price of gas to go up to $150 a barrel. The people had a choice to pay for gas to go to their jobs or keep their homes. When they let the homes go back, that caused the problem that hit everybody. So because um, when they started laying people off, then they didn't have the jobs that they were trying to protect. It, it was a never-ending cycle. They're doing it all over again this morning. The market is going up on the news that virtually every economist except for the Democrats is saying that we are due for a big um, change in the market. We said the market is not 16,000, it won't be 16,000, but um, they, they said the market is closer to 9 to 10,000 is going to be a correction. They said a 40, a 40 to 50 percent correction in the market is due. Mm -hmm. Which means Obama is going to run in the next election in a disaster because the Fed can only prop up stuff for so much. Like, oh, here, Kirby Daddy said something else. He said, You're talking about the Chinese being the largest holder of our debt? No. The United States has printed so much paper that's worthless. The Treasury Department is the largest holder of the debt. Ah. Uh, was it $70 trillion, they said? Mm -hmm. And Obama's speech on the middle class? I know she likes it so much she read it again. I know. Well, Rubio reconnects with Tea Party activists. The guy is a loon. He basically goes against the Tea Party on everything that they consider important, which is like government spending. Uh, they didn't be, he got no immigration reform. Immigration reform did not come out of what they did. Legalizing 11 million voters for the Democratic Party did come out. Lowering the wages for everybody in the country did come out. Increasing the social program did come out of it, but did the people in the Republican Party gain anything? I mean, no, not a thing. I mean, Rubio is not going to get reelected. Lindsey Graham is not going to get reelected. There are so many candidates running against Mitch McConnell and Boehner now 
that basically neither are, uh, and they're not going to get money from the party. I mean, mm -hmm. the, they might get it from the national party, but the bigger the, the people that fund the national party are not going to fund them for these guys' reelections. Mm -hmm. Obama too spent, or Obama spent seven hundred million to promote Obamacare. In that something, seven hundred. They want to know he took money that is needed to implement the program to buy commercial. Okay. Oh, Herbie Daddy said, "Oh, you mean these people that he called there to Washington D.C. are not doing it for nothing? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They're all being paid to do these spots mm -hmm. at full salary." With people like Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks producing and directing. And how's GOP and Democrats clash over immigration? Yeah, because they're not going to get, the House of Representatives is not going to give them their open ended thing because, as the one guy said, he said, when you can point out to me where there's any reform in the immigration statutes that we currently have, I'll side with the Democrats. He said, all we're doing is legalizing 11 million people, inviting 30 more million people in, and there's nothing, the rules haven't been changed. No, there's no, you know, like, oh, oh Bill O'Reilly said, uh, oh, how, how dumb is Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly, I'm older than you, know, Mr. O'Reilly, so I can, I hear, oh, well, Herbie Daddy says, I'll quote something from Milton Burrow. You want to have a discussion with me on any topic, I'll check my brain at the front door, and then we'll start out even, Mr. O'Reilly. But Bill O'Reilly said, well, this is just a civil statute that they're breaking. It's not a criminal statute. Yeah, when you break a law, it's a law. You break mm -hmm. it. If it's a civil, it's a civil complaint. It is still a law being broken, folks. And Bill O'Reilly didn't know the difference. Ooh. See, he doesn't know the difference between right and wrong either. And federal judge has frozen all legal challenges to Detroit's bankruptcy. And the unions are going to bring the city to a halt to show you their power. Oh, the God. city is broke. They can't keep. The lights are off in 40% of the city. They've had to cut back the services so much that it can take an hour for a fire engine to get to a place. Oh, no. And the unions are demanding that they be given their full benefits. Well, it's not going to happen. Those days are over. What are they it, thinking? The president's going to come to the rescue? They all know he's going to come to the rescue. Everybody out there knows that Obama is going to pick up the bill for the city of Detroit because it's, a, it's basically a totally black city now. And, and they need their support. They will lose the state of Michigan if they lose Detroit. They're going to lose it, folks. I'm surprised it still has them. Wholesale stockpiles shrink in May. Oh, oh, unbelievably. Uh, they're, they're selling at record amounts. They're up, the sales are up by 4.7% according to, the, the, according to the, uh, the news just a minute ago. They, uh, they shrank, but the, now they're selling more. Okay, it's an oxymoron. You can't sell what you don't have, but according to the president, according to the, uh, the Department of Congress, you're selling what you don't have now. Wow. Because factory orders are down. And House debate gives new airing to NSA surveillance. Well, they said it doesn't. They said they may have won yesterday by 10 votes, but they only won by 10 votes because um, the elders of both parties decided that we want to know what's going on among the people in this nation. But now everybody that voted to screw the little guy is going to get his butt kicked in the next election. I, they said, I would not want to be, you know, uh, Nancy Pelosi, that, that we have to know what's going on to protect you. Oh, God. That isn't going to work well in San Francisco. And Sprint promises a lifetime of unlimited data service? Well, yeah, what is but that? There, there's their idea of what unlimited is and everybody else's idea. I remember years ago I had a, an internet plan that was supposed to be unlimited and it shut off like at about 250 million bytes. It said <laughs> unlimited on it. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, and Egypt to invest, that's unlimited for normal standards, right? The 250 million bytes is not, not normal standard for anybody. And Egypt to investigate allegations that ousted leader Morsi escaped jail in 2011. Uh, it seems that he had no legal right to be running for the government. First of all, Muslim Brotherhood is not allowed to operate in any country in the Middle East. Second, you're not allowed to seek office if you're if you're an escape prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> And, but don't so worry, Obama came to support the Muslim Brotherhood yesterday. He did what he oh, did. Oh, basically, well, if you the military wants their funding back, they're going to have to put Morrissey back in control, oh, which isn't God. going to happen. They're just going to get funding from elsewhere, like the Soviets and something now. So 
Obama has got the. They said, you know, they said that when Obama, when that Obama may be a smart man, and that's up for question or not. But when they were passing out train, you know, brains when he was born, he thought they said trains, and so he didn't want any of them. And he did not understand foreign policy whatsoever. And <laughs> yeah, I guess that's where her daddy. And her and Sarah Palin could see Alaska from her backyard. Was she? Uh, she was could she see could... Russia from her backyard. Which she can do in the winter. I know, and they, they made fun they of her. They come across the ice pack from the. That's how they came Russia. across. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. I know I have to make up another. I forgot. I never did. But this one, this one, okay. That this is going to be in the same process. You can only lie to the people so often, and then finally they just quit listening to you, like they're doing their president's speeches this week. <laughs>